What's up guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today, for the first time ever, we are going to be making some runs uh, through the snow. Welcome uh, to Alaska, baby. Check it out. We are up here in the North Port and uh, your boy has uncovered all of the secrets that this map has to offer. So, you guys know in our last episode, we did a, uh, did a bit of like a exploratory, you know, surveying the land, kind of driving off into the wilderness, collecting checkpoints and lookouts and all kinds of stuff like that. You guys actually really enjoyed it, so I appreciate that support. I just didn't, I, I didn't want to do the same thing again, you know what I mean? There are three other parts of Alaska that we will be able to survey at some point, so we'll, we'll get out into the snow and get into the thick of it with our Jeep, but uh, I figured we should probably run some missions today and start working on earning a little bit more money. So if we pull up our contracts here, we've got three new potential clients, GR Enterprise, Blackbird, and Morrison Mining, and the first mission that we have available to us is through Blackbird. We've got to clean up this pipeline. There's a pipeline somewhere, where is it? I think right here, We've got a broken pipeline that we're going to try to fix. Yeah, we could deliver two sets of spare parts. So it looks like it's just a, a simple a simple drive to the left and turn around and drive back to the right. We are just going to, you know, drive on some paved roads here and kind of make an easy first run at it. Should uh, should be interesting. These are some really icy roads, man. We might might honestly want to think about adding some chains to our tires. I didn't even think about that. Before we get started when I was out there exploring trying to uncover the map and, and see all of our work opportunities I try to put chains on our Jeep or our con and um, it just didn't uh, it, they didn't have any options you only have mud tire options but I'm pretty sure for the big trucks we can get some chain tires which would obviously be pretty useful so we're gonna go pull in here we've got our flatbed addition we are just gonna go ahead and let's uh, Let's load up two sets of service spare parts. I guess we could probably grab this mission back here just to have it as a side mission whenever we want it. If we can sneak back here, come on. Show the task, accept it, all right. Might end up getting to that later, but for right now, our primary objective is just gonna be to go out here, bang a right, and drive right down this openly paved road to be able to unlock the pipeline and essentially unlock our uh, our connection to the rest of the map. Definitely feels good to have a bit of a change of pace here. I'm excited to uh, to get some new missions and just kind of branch out a little bit. Felt like Michigan was starting to get a little bit old, but at the same time, dude, there's still so much to do out there. So you guys know there, there are four sections of the Michigan map. You've got the, the Black River one, and then there's the dam that we started checking out a little bit. That's what we explored in the last episode. After that, there are two other sections. There's Drummond Island and then one other one. I forget what the last one is. Neither one of those have a garage in them. So eventually we're going to have to go out there. And I'm thinking we're probably going to take a truck like this. We'll have a couple of scouts on the back of it. And then maybe we'll tow like a fuel trailer or something. And then we'll have to ha like, you know, bring our own fuel, bring our own everything. Because you, you can't like refuel there. You can't get a new garage. If you flip something, it's just toasted. You're, you're done with it. There's nothing you can do. So it's going to be interesting. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. Easiest $1,400 and 180 stars that we've ever uh, made use of. And uh, now it looks like we've got a couple of new options. We've even got one under GR Enterprise here. Four bricks, metal planks, and fuel going up there to the polar base. Can't do that one yet. Let me see what else Blackbird has. Two sets of fuel to the port. That's actually going to be fairly easy, but we would have to fix this metal bridge first. Unless we somehow went around the outside, which looks a little bit sketchy. I'm just trying to look for easy ones to start things off. Drilling spare parts, deliver them to the factory. Hmm. All of these are going to be fairly difficult. This one's going to be bringing oil barrels all over the place. Shoot, dude, this is a lot of these. We're just we're, we're gonna have to kind of we're gonna have to fix the bridges and, and stuff before we really get started. What is this metal bridge gonna take? I guess it's probably what we should take a look at first. It's gonna take one set of metal planks, but the metal planks are gonna be all the way up top. Are we gonna be able to? I guess we could probably get there. We could drive this road all the way around, pick them up. All right, I think I think that's a good first move. Let's uh, let's go ahead and track that. We're gonna do it. 
So it's going to be kind of a roundabout way, but I mean, as you guys know in, in previous, you know, maps, it's always been smart to kind of get that stuff out of the way first. Probably make it work other ways by going out into the sticks and getting getting your, your tires a little bit muddy, or in this case, a little bit snowy and icy. But uh, it's definitely going to be a lot more efficient if we take the time and invest it early. Shoot. We're going to have something here. Mud slide. What are we going to need here? One set of metal. Oh, actually, that's going to be perfect, dude. So let's grab two sets of metal planks. We can just go right on around this. And we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to fix both of these at the same time. It's gonna be great. As long as we can make it through. I mean we don't even have our all-wheel drive on. Look at that. Just pure muscle. Pure mayhem. You love to see it. This old girl's pretty good. I do feel like uh, we might wanna think about going for an upgrade here sometime soon. Maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. I know the Pacific P17 is insanely good and you can unlock that from Drummond Island back in Michigan. Okay, that was that was a little bit rough on the suspension there. But maybe like we'll we'll run a few missions here in this episode and then maybe we'll do a Drummond Island, you know, searching for the P17 in the next episode cuz that'll be kind of fun. We can, you know, load up some scouts and get a little bit crazy with it and then uh Maybe come back here once we have the upgraded truck. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That's the beauty of this game, dude. There's no, like, right or wrong answer. You can kind of do do whatever you want to do at any time. Bro, look at our look at our sliding. Okay, we got to be careful. Wait, we don't, we don't want to go this way. Sorry. Let's get back on the, uh, back on the right path here. Just kind of make it a big loop. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting. There's no right or wrong answer. It's just, it's, it's crazy how massive this game is, dude. It's just like... You know, you think about, there are three, three areas. So we've got, you know, Michigan, Alaska, and then Russia. And then each area has like three to four things within it. And it's just, I, I've heard that Russia is insane. I've heard Russia, there are things where it takes like two hours to drive to get to where you want to get to. So I think, uh, I think we definitely have our, our work cut out for us here. Looks like we've got a bit of a, Watery path to cross. Should be no problem. Put our all-wheel drive on. Bit of a strong current. Maybe some, some glacial runoff from the glaciers up north above us in the mountains. But we're able to handle that no problem. Looks like we want to come up here, bang a left, and that's going to take us right to the metal spot. Grab two things of metal. We're going to be able to fix two bridges. One thing I will say is that a lot of Alaska, at least from what I've seen so far, isn't as muddy. You know, obviously being up here, it, it, there's going to be tough conditions and we're going to get bogged down in the snow. But I feel like in general, that's easier to handle. It's a little bit, I mean, I guess it depends on how deep it is and, and how, you know, either wet or dry it is. But uh, I, I definitely, I don't feel like we're sloshing down and getting bogged down and that sort of thing. I really didn't run into too many crazy things with our, our Jeep right before I, I started recording. So hopefully that's a good sign. You know, the, the cold weather is freezing the ground. Should give us a little bit better traction and allow us to handle ourselves a little bit better. So here we are. Oh, shoot. You know what? We're not going to be able to carry two metal planks, are we? Dang it. I forgot it takes up two slots. I guess we could, let's, let's, should we just buy a trailer? I'm down to buy a trailer. Is this trailer, trailer store right here? All right, I'm gonna say let's, uh, sideboard trailer, let's do it. Forgot the metal takes up two slots, kind of a rookie move, but it's fine. We can, uh, we can just throw this in the trailer and then once we deliver the trailer back, to uh, to our home base, we can just sell it and get the money back. We are on paved roads the entire way, so I don't I don't think there's much risk here. We are kind of I mean, we're having to drop it down into first. We we could go low if we really truly needed it, but we are we are slowing down a bit here. Obviously, I, I think I think putting chains on our tires is going to make a huge difference. We probably should have done that. We'll definitely do that first thing right away. Uh, as soon as, uh, as soon as we get back, but it, it seems like she's handling it. Dude, this is so peaceful. Just watching these, 
Very light snow flurries. Not even really a flurry, dude. This is just light, beautiful, wafting snowfall up in the Alaskan wilderness. Nothing out here for miles. Just us and our truck. Take a nice wide angle there. Looks pretty good, all right. Going downhill, just gonna try to build up some speed to get across this river and let's let's just hope for the best, man. Here we go. Send it. Gonna have to drop her down into first, but it does look like we are gonna be able to get through that no problem. That's what I'm talking about. All right, open road. Your boy is an ice road trucker out here. We should be able to make it to this rock slide, no problem. Got a little corner here. Take her nice and wide, looks good. Did that sign just say, be prepared for the unexpected? I don't think I've ever seen a road sign like that before, but I guess uh, I guess we'll, we'll be sure to, to pay attention to it. Here we go, first thing of metal. I'm gonna unload, oh shoot, we're good. We're just gonna have to back this up a little bit. We slid down the road. Okay, let's uh, let's put our, our handbrake on, and that's that's actually not helping. Okay, so we're just gonna have to have to hit this while we're sliding. I'm trying to get rid of the trailer cargo first. Uh, shoot, it got rid of our it got rid of our truck cargo. I wanted to get rid of the trailer cargo because that way we could sell the trailer when we were back at our uh, back at our, our garage when we drove by it. But it's fine. We'll just have to double back twice. Not the most efficient, but we'll be okay. At least we got our first roadblock taken care of. Dig in there, girl. I know it's looking a little, little snowy in here. We're starting to get some of that mud too, that mud that we're used to from back in Michigan, but you can handle it, I believe. Look at us just plowing right through it. You should be able to get a snow plow in this and like clear off the roads. That'd be kind of useful. I think one thing I'm gonna do Let's uh, let's pause here for a second. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna detach this trailer. Let's go inside. Let's get her fixed up. We've taken a couple of bangs, and uh, we're also I'm gonna try throwing the chains on there. So let's go into customize. I'm gonna take a look at our tires. I mean, shoot, need to reach rank 14, and we're only level seven. So it looks like we are not gonna be putting any chains on there anytime soon. We've got some new highway tires we could choose from. Obviously, that's not what we want though. Level nine's gonna get us uh, the next upgrade to our all-terrain tires, but it looks like for the time being, we're kinda, kinda out of luck. That's all right. Not too worried about it. So now we're gonna go, we're gonna pick up our trailer again. We're gonna take it off to our next objective, which is back this baby on up. No clue why I'm doing it in first person. It definitely makes it a lot harder, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, hey, is that good? Bam, look at that. Honestly, I think we might have been a little bit too close. But overall, that was pretty solid. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through here. I'm not seeing, nope, no roadblocks or anything. This is actually gonna be super, super easy. So we're just gonna run it right down to that bridge, fix that bridge up, and then we've kind of opened the map up a little bit. Fixed a rock slide, fixed a bridge, fixed an oil pipeline and we're gonna be able to get some slightly more intense jobs. I'll tell you what, dude, it, honestly, like, it's, it's not, it's not easy to drive on this ice without chains. It, like, uh, we aren't getting stuck as much, but we are definitely flying all over the road, and if we aren't careful, if I'm not paying attention, if I have a momentary lapse in judgment or try to go a little bit too fast, or come down a hill a little bit too hot or anything like that, it gets, uh, it gets a little gnarly, I'm not gonna lie. So we definitely, you know, have to have to be ready for the unexpected and have to kind of be prepared for a different series of challenges out here in the, the white north. So here we go, let's go ahead and fix this bridge up. I can't believe this only needed one set of metal. That's a pretty nifty bridge right there. And look at that, one set of metal completely taken care of. Brand new part of the map has been unlocked for us. All right. It's like there is a trailer store down here in the port we could potentially sell this thing at, but we might even need it. Let me let me check some of our objectives here. 34.50, that's not much money, and look at everything they want us to deliver. Bricks are gonna be from the warehouse all the way up here. 
These are going to be from over here. Fuel's going to be from the other side of the map. Like, that's, that's kind of intense, I'm not going to lie. We could get the two sets. We could sell our trailer now, get the two sets of fuel, go up there and drop it off, buy a trailer, go get the four sets of bricks, bring them back, drop it off, sell the trailer, and then get the metal planks. That's actually not a, that's not a bad idea. I'm putting it to the test. We're going to see if this plan works. We're just flipping trailers like it's nothing, buying and selling, wheeling and dealing. It's just all about being efficient, trying to reduce the number of trips that you have to take and trying to be as effective as possible. Coming up here on the port for the first time, I'm sure we're going to see more of this place as we progress. The port's probably going to be a pretty important, uh, pretty important area. Looks like we can drop off materials. Where's this trailer store? It's off to the left. All right, so we're gonna bring this thing on around. And let's see if we can go sell this bad boy, sell it for what we paid for it. I know I've said it before, but dude, that is just, that's so nice. That is so, so, so nice. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell this sideboard. Just like that, we don't have a caboose. I did see a giant fuel trailer back behind here. We'd need a saddle, saddle high, I think, or maybe a saddle low to be able to tow that thing. But if we drive up to it, we'll at least get a little bit of experience for finding it. What's up, guy? Trailer discovered. 30 XP. We'll take it. But uh, now it's phase two of the plan. We are going to go ahead. We're going to back on out of here. We're going to have to do, I think, a little bit of off-roading to be able to get to the fuel station. We can fill up our truck while we're there. Grab two things of oil for us to be able to take up to uh, up to our objective, and that's going to be phase one of a three-part plan. I don't think we've ever done oil before, so I'm really kind of counting on the idea that one like bushel of oil is only going to take up one slot, and that we'll be able to fit two on the flatbed of our truck. I'm definitely going to be a very sad camper if that's not the case, but we're just going to have to try it. So. I'm thinking, ooh, we can, it's probably, uh, dude, this is going to be kind of tough. It's probably easiest to go straight and then go through here, I would think. Let's, let's play it safe. I don't really know what to expect on some of these roads. Most of them we haven't driven. There were only four lookout points that we had to hit. And so I kind of went directly to those, unlocked them. It, it showcases the whole map, but we haven't actually driven those roads, so I don't know what to expect. I do believe this is what we're going to be taking instead as we kind of overshoot the quarter a little bit, but that's fine. We can throw some all-wheel drive on here, and look at this. I mean, this is this is our first real... Oh, okay. I was going to say this is our first real off-road adventure, but it's actually not going so well. I'm going to put this thing down in low. Low and slow, baby. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking we might want to try to get a bit of an upgrade. This this old girl does well, but she's she's just kind of like the first step in a long line of things that, that you can really kind of improve. Um, she, she was good for Michigan, but I think as we start to test ourselves in, in harsher climates and harsher settings, we're probably going to need something a bit more. I do feel bad about that, but I mean, we had to trade in the Fleet Star before. We had to trade in our, our Chevy. We've had to do a lot. Got to do what you, you got to do to be able to get the job done. Got to get it done for our customers. Hey, but it takes some, uh, take some all-wheel drive off here. She's, she's plowing. She's doing a good job. Should help out once we get this load. Have a little bit of weight on those, those rear axles and get a little bit better traction. So this is an Alaskan gas station, huh? Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fuel up first. Bada bing, bada boom. Then we're gonna whip this thing on around here. Come on, girl. Don't wanna run over these guys' trash can. All right. Gonna grab a uh, couple things of fuel. Looks like we can fit two of them on the flatbed, so that's good to know. We're gonna have to remember that for uh, for future objectives. And now we're gonna want to get up to the uh, to the drilling site, right? No, the polar base is where we're going. Okay, 
So I'm thinking, I mean, we're, we could try to go through there. I don't think that's a good idea. I think our best bet is going to be to just go all the way around. I, I, I think, I think we're going to want to take the safe route. So we're going to go out of here. We're going to take a right, like where we just came through. We're going to get on the paved road and we're going to go all the way around. It's not the sexiest route. It's not the, the, you know, cleanest route. But it is the route that's going to get the job done. It's the route we could be confident in for right now. And the route we know that's going to work. So we're, we're going to do that. Oh, look at this, dude. With the weight on the back. Whoo-wee! That load is helping us out, baby. We are cruising. Uh. Just flying. Old girl's going to gonna hit 88 and go back in time. But, uh, yeah, we're going to bring these up here. Same path we just took recently that we cleared out with the... the rock slide and everything else and then once we get up we're going to drop this load off and we're going to have to go buy ourselves a nifty little trailer oh girl oh, oh, oh girl okay come on girl Woo, there it is that made me so nervous right there i i really thought we might we might be we might be tipping we are pulling trees over. I don't really want to destroy these trees. I also don't want to end up tipping. I can't believe we almost tipped right there. There was no, no lateral movement, man. Come on, girl. Shoot. Lost that tree, but we've got a rock solid electrical pole behind it. Okay. Yeah, dude. I mean, this, this, this is a pretty low-key little shortcut here, and we're hardly making it. I'd, I think we're definitely going to need some sort of an upgrade. Ooh, be careful. Not try to drift. This ain't Tokyo Drift, girl. Woo. That extra weight makes us slide a bit more. This is interesting, dude. Like, this feels totally different. Obviously looks totally different, but feels totally different than Michigan. We're going to be fine. We just, uh, slow and steady is going to win the race here, Trev. You just, you got to be slow. Who am I kidding? I mean, yeah, I'm just kidding. Who, who, who am I kidding here? Who's, who's going to go slow? <laughs> I, I guess you guys haven't, haven't been watching this series if you thought that's how I really feel. <gasps> Woo! Bro, we, 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 we've, we've. You know, time is not on our side. We got to get this to our clients as quickly as possible. I mean, as long as we're not being extremely stupid, we should we should be all right. We're good so far. Okay. After all that, we are only back at our garage. There's still a lot of road to go. Dude, this is so peaceful. A little bit spooky, I'm not gonna lie, but so peaceful, man. Just watching this snowfall being highlighted by our high beams. Nothing out here, just trees, fresh air. I wish there was some sort of like an Aurora Borealis or something. Look at all those stars. No cities around, no light pollution, nothing to worry about. It's just us and the open road, baby. All right, so this is where we want to take a left. Got to be careful, Trev, you can't. Dude, even just pulling your map up for a second, you you start sliding in this. This is crazy. Oh, this is kind of cool. There's a fuel station here. I guess we could have got our fuel from here. I didn't even see that. Wouldn't have mattered. I mean, we were, we were close to the other one after doing our last job anyway, but that's just good to know that there's something up here. We actually, you know what? Let's Let's grab this contract as well just to have it. Obviously not going to do that one right now, but we may as well have it on the back burner for when we need it. And uh, we're just going to keep on coming around the mountain here through the water over to the polar base. Going to want to hit a left right here. Should be an easy to live. Come on, girl. Let's go. She doesn't necessarily love the river there. We haven't been stuck yet. I don't think we will get stuck. It just, it, it dramatically lowers the speed. We definitely don't don't get across it in a hurry, so gotta be careful about that. Uh, I want to take a left here. All right, what's what's up to the right? Tunnel. Huh. It's a new tunnel up there. We'll have to go check that out at some point. But for 
for right now, we're gonna stay on, on task. Town is to the left, huh? I haven't seen much of a town out here, but I guess I'll, I'll believe it. Just gonna keep on trucking. This is uncharted territory through here. I just, I recently realized that we, we didn't actually have our lights on. So when you look at this, the lights look like they're on, but they're actually not. We just had our daytime running lights on. Just gotta make sure we keep these bad boys on. I'm gonna have to drop this into first here. See if we're gonna be able to get up over this hill. Looks like we can. Nothing too sketchy yet. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I guess that little, the little shortcut next to the first gas station we were at. So far, that's been the biggest threat that we've had to getting stuck. Oh, what? We have to go through water? Bro. I didn't even, I didn't even see that. There's abandoned supplies out here. Shoot. Okay. I mean, I do see a, a phone wire, an electrical wire pole here. A couple of them that we might be able to use. Water doesn't seem to be too deep, and the ground doesn't seem to be too bad. Although, I think a few runs through here is going to go ahead and muck that up a bit. But for right now, I believe we're okay. Maybe not. It, this this is this is bad. Okay, let's try low, low in the diff lock. Gonna be able to muscle muscle our way through here. We've got a, a winch spot on each side. I really want to attach my winch to this tree over here, in our front left. I don't think we're close enough to be able to get it though. Come on, get up there. Here we go. There it is. There it is. That's the tree I wanted. And that's the one that's going to get it done. We honestly probably could upgrade the winch on this thing, give it a little bit better range. I mean, you can specifically decide which points you want to winch to, but you guys can see, like, it's it's really not that long as of right now. So, probably something we could think about. But then again, we are going to get a bit of an upgrade here, hopefully, in the next episode. So, we'll, uh... We'll play it by ear. Just gonna grab this contract. Like to have those available for whenever we want them. But it looks like oh, this is town, huh? I mean, that's a quaint little house right there, dude. I bet that's so cozy inside. I bet they've got a, a wood-burning fireplace, and it would just be so peaceful out here. I mean, I'd be a little bit scared of the the wildlife and the bears and stuff, but it would be pretty. Now, I I, I wouldn't want to live in a trailer. That doesn't look like as much fun, but overall, I think it could be pretty nice out here. So here we go. Town, you're welcome. Here's a little bit of oil. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm going to skip it to skip it to daytime. I just, dude, I, I like seeing the map in the day. It's, sometimes it's kind of fun to be out here at night, but I, I feel like daytime's definitely a lot better. Let's see what our next course of action is going to be. Um... I'm tempted to try to sneak through there. I don't know if that's going to work, though, dude. Heavy trees and probably really thick snow. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go around through here. We're going to pick up a trailer here. We're going to go this way. Go all the way up to the warehouse. Looks like it gets a little bit sketchy, but hopefully we're going to be able to make it. With the trailer, we're going to be able to get all four sets of bricks from the warehouse. And then we're just going to have one set of metal planks to get from there, dude. I'm... Bit of a goose chase. We're picking up stuff from the four corners of the map, but got to do it to unlock the future missions, so we're just going to keep on grinding. This area straight sucks, dude. Like, this this is this is just not fun. And to think that we're going to have to run through here. Dude, we're, I don't know if we're going to be able to run through here with a trailer, if you want me to be completely honest. This is what we were stuck in. Last night, this is, oh man, this is by far the worst part of the map. We might, we might have to get a longer winch. I, I don't know. There's no other way out here, too, is the problem. Unless you potentially went up this. I don't think that'd work, though. I mean, I, I feel bad. Apart from that section, this thing handles pretty much everything else pretty well like even though we don't have some big thick tires on there we've just got some normal all-terrains 
We don't have chains or anything like that. Like this, this truck still gets it done. And I appreciate what she's doing for us. I just, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Like this is the, this is the second mission. Technically the first actual mission. That's not a side mission. This is the, the first mission of this zone, and it's just like, we're kind of struggling a bit. I'm, I'm gonna try it with the trailer. We might end up getting stuck, and we may have to, to ditch the trailer and end up, uh, end up, what's it called? Got her here. End up, uh, we might have to end up leaving it and then getting the, the new truck in the next episode and then like coming back and, and finishing this mission. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna try our best. But I just, I, I do feel like, uh, feel like we've kind of hit a bit of a limit here. We'd also go back to Michigan and, and grind out some missions and stuff like that. But I kind of like the idea of exploring Alaska a little bit more. So I think if we go back to Michigan, the, the objective is just going to be to be able to unlock that new truck. Oh, dude, this is rough. Come on, girl. I feel bad talking about replacing you as you're charging up a mountain for us right now. Keep up the great work. I haven't let me down yet. I am a little bit worried about our fuel situation. I think we, we might we might have a bit of fuel trouble. We're already down a quarter of a tank. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So we're making our way up this hill. Gorgeous job, girl. That's what I'm talking about, dude. This game is so beautiful. It's like there's nothing to look at, but there's everything to look at. Like nothing's really happening in the background, but it's still just so beautiful. Look at that just lineup of trees. Got our, our big rig here. Just trucking through. Fantastic. All right. Well, um, this is the sawmill. We've got a way to go. Just keep doing it. Do you guys see that puddle of water in front of us? <laughs> I thought... I thought the thing we, we had to cross last night was bad. This looks way worse. Water over road, this sign says. Dude, I... I this is going to be a miracle if we make it over this. And it's so much, it's not like this is like paved road underneath. I'm going straight to low with the diff lock on. Let's see if she can just power through. Come on, girl. Dude, that is some thick, nasty mud. Here I was saying not too long ago in the episode that it seemed like Alaska didn't really suffer from that problem. Oh, nice. Yeah, we've got some flowing water to deal with as well. It actually looks like we're making our way through it, though. We're doing all right. Do we want to go straight or take a right? We want to take a right. And there's going to be more water to deal with. But yeah, I love how I was talking about Alaska not really having that problem. Boy, oh boy. Was I wrong? But hey, I mean, hat, hats off to old girl here. She handled it like a champ. Back into our... Uh, Auto all-wheel drive. Shoot, dude, we're, we're down. We're down to half a tank. Is there any fuel up here? There's no fuel up here either. That's another thing, dude, is it's, it's not even just about the ability to be able to get through the stuff. It's also the, the fuel efficiency. Like, up here, we're having to run all-wheel drive pretty much all the time. I think there have been a couple of, couple of parts of this episode where I've had it on on roads that I should have been a little bit more careful about. Oh, this looks disgusting back into low back with the diff lock on back just burning through fuel let's get it this whole corner is nothing but water dude but yeah we, we need something that's a bit more capable and also something that's more capable isn't gonna have to, to strain as hard and it's gonna be a little bit more fuel efficient like we're okay. The water level's not getting up over our snorkel. Air intake is clear. We should, like before, we should be able to, to, to kind of handle this stuff a little bit better with some weight. 
But then again, I don't know if it's if it's trailer weight that we have to pull as well. That's actually gonna gonna be a negative thing. When it's on us, it's gonna help. When we're towing it, it's gonna hurt. So what happens when it's on us and we're towing it? We're about to find out. Whew. Some dry ground, some pavement. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we like to see. Hello to this beautiful factory that has enabled us to uh, to get some, some, we don't want pipes, we want bricks. We want four sets of bricks. Two in the truck two in the trailer that my friends is a big old load and we're about to find out if we're going to be able to transport this gonna be able to swing that not quite we find just a little little back up here never hurt anything and here we go wait oh shoot i saw a bit of a space in the trailer and i was worried that there's there's only going to be one set of bricks but no we've got all four sets back there so here we go fellas we are off Currently flying, feeling great. Wind in our hair, I, I, you know, cracked the window a little bit, getting a little bit of that crisp Alaskan cool air. But I don't think it's gonna be that breezy for long, dude. Holy cow. I mean, ideally, we probably could have tried to, to be a little more efficient and just, you know, not a fit, it would have been less efficient, but a little bit safer. And just do two trips with the flatbed each time. I think that could have potentially worked, but efficiency is key. This is like when you, when, when your mom, your girlfriend, in my case, not I've grown up, asks you to bring the, the groceries in from the car. I mean, shoot, dude, haven't haven't actually been to a grocery store in so long. We've been having them delivered because the, the situation currently. But uh, previously, back in an earlier life, back in 2019. Your boy never makes two trips. Just the same with here. We don't make two trips. We're gonna stack up 16 bags on each arm, or in this case, two pallets of bricks on each plausible area of tow. And we're gonna make sure this job gets done. Looking like we actually didn't make it through that. I mean, that's just crazy. To think about driving through something like that, dude. That, that is insane. We're down to 84 liters, and this thing is guzzling 8 to 9 a minute. Whew. We're going to run out of gas. I... This, is, this is screwed. We're definitely going to run out of gas. I just hope we're going to be able to make this delivery before we do. I know there's ways you could have other trucks, like, I, I think if we bring our con, can we, like, siphon the gas out of one vehicle and give it to another? I know if you have a gas trailer, that'll work. You can kind of, like, refuel it, but I'm not sure if it's just, like, straight up if we brought our, our Jeep or our con out here, would we be able to, to transfer it? I don't know. That's something we might have to take a look at in a... A later life but we've I mean we've already committed so much here dude I'm gonna go low with the diff lock on I, I just I, I don't even want to I don't want to look I don't it makes me sick thinking that we might get stuck and then I, I don't even know what the we can't recover the truck because it's gonna get rid of our load so we would definitely have to figure something else out I, I think we might be able to make it dude. this is one-third of a tank left it's going to be very close, but I think if we're smart, we might be able to make it. But then again, we're expelling more fuel now because we've got a heavier load. But then again, we've got better traction, so it might not be struggling as much. We might be able to keep those RPMs a little bit lower. There's so many forces at work currently. I just, I, I hope we can make it, dude. We are definitely getting to the bottom of the barrel here, though. Such a beautiful game, man. I could just watch trucks slowly traipse through mud all day. I, I I really don't know why this is this is a thing. I don't know why it's so enjoyable, but it is. Dude, every time I watch that, ugh. Every time I watch the number get lower, 62, 61 liters left down there in the bottom left, dude. Oh my goodness. We're gonna drop down to 60 here in a second. Ugh! It hurts. Let's make sure we're being as efficient as possible here. I mean, we're just, we're, oh, dude, this is, 
This is still so far. This is how far we've been. I feel like it's been an eternity and we haven't been anywhere. Oh, we are getting stuck. Oh, uh, we're, we're, we're already currently stuck. Okay, let me put her in low and put our diff lock on. Get our winch going. Probably wasn't a good idea to stop and pull up the map there, Trev. When you've got that momentum, you just got to keep that momentum, baby. You just got to keep it going. Just keep it going. 56 liters left. Should we just leave it? I mean, we're. I feel like we're burning less in low. We're going slower. But I feel like we're not really going that slow. We don't even have all-wheel drive on currently. This this might be the play. Fuel efficiency, fuel savings. Got to think, dude. The more fuel we burn, the lighter we are, the more more efficiency we're going to have. <laughs> Obviously, in a truck like this, that's not really much of a difference maker. But that's that's interesting how it works, and especially in like racing. Um, especially, like, Formula 1, not as much, just because... You don't refuel in Formula One, but like something like NASCAR, that's part of the strategy that goes into it. Unfortunately, I don't think we can uh, employ that here. All right, we're down to our last 50 liters. Please stop being so thirsty and just get us to our objective. Hold on, let me let me see. So if we put it back into auto with all-wheel drive on, you guys can see it goes up to nine to 10 liters a minute, 11 liters a minute, but we're going quicker. So I don't know what the answer is. Back at a low, all-wheel drive off. We're going slower, but we're using, I mean, seven, shoot. I, maybe if we just do all, I mean, this might be a good answer. Just all-wheel drive, but with no, or, or auto with no all-wheel drive. I mean, but this is still getting up to eight to nine at times. I don't know, dude. I'm stressed. I, I, I'm, I'm really stressed here. Oh, our tanks are red now. Uh, we're starting to get bogged down. Probably would have put all-wheel drive on, but that's getting up to 12 liters being burned. <laughs> Ooh. So, I mean, at 12 liters a minute, we got about three to four minutes. Little, little above three minutes here. Do we think at this pace we're going to be able to get to our objective in three minutes? Oh, it's it, the bar is red. The bar is red. Oh, fellas. Oh, fellas. I mean, we do. Can we? Can we just coast this downhill? We can kind of coast. I'm going to take all-wheel drive off. We're just we're we're going to we're going to plow here. Oh, I, I think we're going to make it. Well, no, I don't think we're going to make it because this isn't our objective down here. we got to go past this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We are going to be on to plain road, though. But we do... Oh, we've got that section with all the, the water and everything. I, I don't think it's going to be possible. And if you want me to be honest, I think our best bet is to park this thing on the road before we get into the nasty mucky stuff because then we can refuel, refuel and approach that when we're ready if we try to come down this road and we get stuck in a weird spot it's going to make it harder for our fuel truck to get to us oh man i i i i think i think i think we we call it there for a moment I'm gonna go back to our garage. We're gonna hop in our we're gonna hop in our Jeep. Now there is a thing. There's a frame add-on. We don't have it unlocked. It's at rank 14. Roof-mounted trunk carrying supplies, fuel, and some basic repair tools for increased self-sustainability in the fields. Um, let me let me grab this. I don't think we're gonna be able to siphon fuel right out of this, but I think there might be a mini fuel trailer we could potentially. Nope. I know there are small, there's a flatbed trailer. Oh, dude. Okay, um, we're, we're, we're gonna work this out. We're, we're just, okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's, let's retain this. We're gonna go to the truck store. We're gonna buy something. 
I mean, should we just buy... Got $83,000, so I'm... Can you have two... Can you have two pay stars? That didn't get rid of our other pay star, did it? No. We're still, we're still back over here. Okay. So I've got this thing. Now we're going to customize it. Frame add-ons. I'm pretty sure... Repairs out in the field. Uh, isn't the... Oh, fuel tank. I'm going to put a fuel tank on it for $5,300. Dude, we are spending so much money to complete this mission that's not going to pay us much. But I think it's... I think it's going to be... It's going to be a success. Do we want any sort of an upgraded upgraded engine or tires or anything? I mean, I think it's pretty much flat roads all the way there. So let's uh let's here, I'm going to I'm going to spray this thing though. Let's let's make it red. That looks pretty nice. So now we're going to leave the garage. We're going to drive on over to where we left our last vehicle. And hopefully we're going to be able to uh be able to refuel her. They were going to be able to recover this thing back, sell it. I mean, we aren't going to need this thing again. I guess now we've got a fuel tank add-on in case we ever need it in the future. But uh, I, I think we might have a happy ending here. Oh, man. It's taken all night. It's the morning time. And I think we made it. As, dude, can you imagine if we got stuck in this stuff right here? I think we should be fine. We didn't upgrade the tires or anything. I didn't want to spend extra money on it. I'd rather wait and invest that into the new truck, but I do believe that if we park this thing right next to it, we're going to go ahead and we're going to change trucks and hop in our, our other Paystar. Then we should be able to refuel here. Fuel up 60 liters. And we're going to go ahead and do the whole thing. All right. There we go. We've, we've got nearly a full tank here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And now we're going to continue on with our mission. We've got a very... This is the right way, right? Yep. Got a very uh, very short way to go. We're going to be able to put all-wheel drive, put anything we want on there. And uh, as soon as we get this delivered, we can recover this truck back to our garage. Or actually, we should probably try to drive out of here and sell the trailer again. But we can, we can definitely recover the other truck back to our garage. We'll sell it. I think... I don't think we can sell the, the fuel add-on. I think we're going to still have that but at some point that's probably going to be useful again we'll probably have to do that again so uh no harm no foul and we're able to make this mission work as long as we could get through that watery park coming up here oh boy here we go okay low and slow with the diff lock on i mean i'm i'm really hoping i'm really hoping that all of this effort wasn't wasn't for nothing, you know what I mean? Let's make sure we take this nice and wide. Don't want to get those those trailer wheels caught on any rocks on the inside or anything. Come on, girl. This next part is the, the nastiest part, dude. Kind of want to connect the winch to that telephone pole. We might not need it, though. Let's, let's just see what happens here. It's actually looking like we might get through, fellas. Come on, girl. Kind of crank the wheel to the left and the right. Oh, shoot. Kind of got a, a bit stuck here. If we had a slightly longer winch, I think we could get that tree over to our front left. That tree is kind of key, dude. Come on. I mean, I, I don't even... Just get us to solid ground. Or if we can somehow... Oh, there it is. Grab that tree. And then we might be able to get this tree. There it is. We got it. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Man, we really had our work cut out for us today. We really had some pretty serious roadblocks we had to get around and challenges we had to, to conquer. But we were able to get it done. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that's a good place to stop it. Some nice victory right here at the end. Obviously, we do have to go get the set of metal planks, but we already went and got metal planks once in this episode. I hate making things too repetitive, so I'll probably go knock that. I'll probably knock out the rest of uh, the rest of this mission off camera, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. We are definitely going to be heading back to Michigan. We're going to be going to Drummond Island, and we are going to be looking for a new vehicle. This thing has definitely treated us well. It's international pay star, but 
We really put her through her paces today, and I think it's only going to get tougher. So we definitely need something a, a little bit, a little bit stronger. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. This isn't even where we're going, Trev. You gotta... You gotta at least pay attention through the end of the episode, bro. <laughs> I'm looking at new challenges here. Please don't tip that trailer. Just get that rear end in. Here it is. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. And uh, we're, we're gonna have some fun there. So I hope you guys are ready. Thanks for watching. Peace out.